Hi, I'm Michael Goodrum. Today, we are going to talk about best-in-class campaign landing pages. So there's four main things that we want to keep in mind when we're building a best-in-class campaign landing page. The first one is going to be making sure that there's a strong theme, tying all of the campaign assets together, and then really represented powerfully through the landing page. Second is going to be understanding who this specific landing page is meant to be viewed by. So really digging into you know, who the audience is that's going to be seeing this individual page. We'll talk more on that. Third is going to be the content of the page. So it's really important, especially for targeting new users, that the page is holistic and contains all the information someone would really need to know to make a decision at that moment. And then fourth is going to be impact and making sure that we always tie anything that we're asking someone to do back to the impact it's going to create in the world. Let's get into it. Number one is going to be knowing your audience. During a you know, year-end campaign, for example, a Giving Tuesday campaign, we want to raise more money than we did in prior years. I'm assuming if you're watching this channel, I hope that you want to raise more money than you did in prior years. So one great way to do that is making sure that we're not just increasing lifetime value of our existing donors, but also making sure that we're reaching out effectively and providing space for new people to discover our nonprofit and what we're up to and ideally give to our costs. So when we're thinking of who is this page meant for, it, depending on your goals and depending on how you're planning on running your campaign, it might make sense to have one landing page that's meant exclusively for those people who already know about your nonprofit, already are passionate about your mission, and that landing, you know, you could send that landing page out through email, um, through channels that really only your existing donors would know about. And that page could be a lot shorter um, and really more focused on what you're planning on doing next year and the amount of money you need to raise to accomplish those goals. Now on the flip side, and we'll, we'll talk more about how do we reach, especially those new users in, in bullet point number two, but we have to make sure, you know, if we're going to have, be targeting new donors, that we have a landing page that's meant specifically for them and it's got enough content on it that someone can understand the whole story of your nonprofit just from that one page and let's take it even one step further let's say that you want to target multiple kinds of new potential donors it could make sense then to have multiple different landing pages meant specifically for new people so just food for thought there so let's talk campaign theme this is going to be probably the shortest of the four uh, because it takes a lot of creativity it takes a lot of discussion with your team there is not necessarily a one-size-fits-all for a campaign theme but kind of general rules of thumb is we want it to be something that is of course creative something that by the nature of what we're naming it there's other ways to express it through imagery through fun headlines through maybe catchy calls to action you want to make sure that there's some of the, the marketing creative aspect available with whatever you theme your campaign to be and then the last thing uh, just a, a kind of a trap that you want to make sure you avoid is having the theme be overly branded to your specific nonprofit. So in language that maybe only your existing donors would understand, especially if we're looking to really capture attention from new people, the theme has to be something that's easily digestible, um, but again, still creative enough that it generates curiosity for people. So something that we are more than happy, if you want to reach out in the comments or hit us up specifically, we'd love to help brainstorm some potential campaign themes with you. Number three is the content of this landing page. What, what should we put on our campaign landing page to make sure it's best in class? Well, the objective here is to make sure that new users who are visiting this page get the full scope of why your nonprofit is tackling this problem and then how you're tackling it and why it should, why it should move them to ultimately give. And so, this, we recommend starting with an above the fold section, which if you've been following this channel, you should know what above the fold means by now. It's the area that you're immediately exposed to without having to scroll at all. So the first thing that you see when you hit a page. We want a very breathtaking image that creates some kind of curiosity that's tied in with your campaign theme. We also wanna give people the ability to donate right away. If they're already warmed up to the campaign and they know they wanna give, we'll have a donate button right there above the fold. But then really quickly, we wanna get into the problem that your nonprofit is solving. You know, we're bringing ideally a lot of new people, a lot of new eyes to this campaign fundraiser. And so why is the, pro the mission that you have solved, like, 
how is it solving a problem that people should be passionate about? and we can't pre-assume that all those new users who are gonna be seeing this page know about the problem. so a section committed and dedicated to that. if you do have a campaign video, oftentimes that kind of problem section is a great place to put that campaign video, which by the way, we're gonna have a link right down here. you'll be able to watch a video on making a best in class campaign video too. after we've talked about the problem, we make sure that all the new users who are hitting the page are familiar with why your problem is a problem then we're going to talk about the solution and how is your nonprofit solving it in a specific way here you can put in information about how you've solved it in past years you know exactly how your impact shows up in the world and then ideally you're also able to say next year as a result of this campaign what we're going to do and how it's going to move things number four is making sure that we address the impact that is available to be made to every single person who's on this page now this is a this can be a much bigger conversation depending on how your nonprofit measures its impact. It could be tougher to tie exactly what you do in the world to every gift that comes in, but ideally you can get as close as you can to saying if someone were to give $100 what would it move in the world right and of course there's all of this with you know what buckets does an, a gift actually go into does it go really into programming does it actually go to admin and there's a lot of things to consider here but from a marketing perspective we're talking to people who are doing online shopping all the time they're talking about black friday right we understand when we purchase things online what it's going to actually create in the world so as close as we can get, especially in that bottom section of this best in class landing page to talking about, hey, you give $100, here's what shows up in the world, the more gifts that we are gonna see from those first time donors, which is the goal of this page. Thanks again for tuning in to watch this video on how to create a best in class fundraising page for your next campaign. Hope you're able to take some of these lessons and apply them immediately to reach more new donors and make sure that they are really inspired to give on that first time or second time being exposed to your nonprofit. Please, if you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to follow us for more amazing digital marketing content for nonprofits. Ciao.